Today, I'll show you more than 50 tips and tricks of Infinite Painter. You might know already some of them, it doesn't matter if you are a beginner or pro, I'm sure there are tips in here that you didn't know about, or maybe you forgot. Select your previously used color from here. If you want to undo something, tap hair, or you can tap on screen with two fingers for it. Detach this color will just by dragging it with two fingers, now you can change your color faster than ever. To remove it drag it on top of this cross using two fingers. Group multiple layers by pinching on it with two fingers. Drag it to left and tap in the center for more option and on folder icon to open or close it, you can also rename this group. Use the transformation tool to select multiple layers, now you can move them, flip them, rotate them, or create a merge duplicate. Lock your layers in its place, now the layer won't move. Infinite Painter automatically saves your work by default, but don't ask before quitting. To get this option go to settings and enable this option. You can duplicate your project and keep it as backup. There's a feature in Infinite Painter, using this feature you can restore your old saves anytime from your latest save. Just tap on the project and select restore, select any save you want. Now you have both saves. You can rename your projects anytime. Just tap on the project and rename. Fill color on a blank layer using line art layer as reference, just enable this option while using fill tool. Change blend of any brush from here, just like layers, there are many options here for you to choose from. Change the size from inside and also from outside just by dragging it left and right. Similarly, you can also change opacity of brush stroke. You can change color brightness from outside also just by dragging your finger left and right, around 0% it's darkest which is black, around 50% it's vibrant, and around 100% it's brightest which is white. Change the size and opacity of the brush using gesture, just hold two fingers on screen, and move your third finger vertically to change the size or move it horizontally to change opacity. Add filter on single layer, and you can add then on your brush also, just go to brush settings, special tab, add any of these filters here. Use your two fingers to detach the brush tray and place it anywhere you like. If you don't like the dark theme, then go to settings, there are three default themes for you to choose from. Drag your finger from color option to use the eyedropper tool and pick any color from the screen. You can also long press on screen to use eyedropper tool. Just go to the settings, under the gesture option change this option to eyedropper, or choose any option you like. Add your most used brushes as favorite to save time, just tap on this heart. You'll find all those brushes in favorite tab. Add texture on your brush by going to the settings, tap on texture and select any texture you want, or you can add more from this plus icon. Now you can apply texture directly on your picture. To remove it, return to the settings and tap on upper left corner. There are many tools to make selection from, but if you go to the layer settings, you can select the entire layer quickly. Tap on this red icon to disable selection. If you go to this option, you can modify your selection, you can use line or fill view. You can change color of the fill. And change the opacity also. Using two fingers pinch on the screen to fit to screen your canvas. Using four fingers tap on the screen to hide all the icons, tap again to bring it back. If you struggle drawing smooth lines, go to the settings, Increase the smoothness bar completely, in the head section lower the spacing. It's much smoother now. While using the path tool, drag your finger to create smooth curve, it is denoted by circle icon. And tap to create hard edge, it is denoted by square shape, you can change them anytime just by tapping on them. You can record your entire art process by enabling this time-lapse option, 
And right below it, you can see interesting project details like strokes down, distance traveled and track time etc. Import any image from your gallery and use it as reference. Tap on this icon to remove or hide it. If you tap on layer option, your image will become a layer, now you can lower its opacity and trace it on another layer. Slide layer panel to the left, there are three layer option here, in solo, only active layer is visible. And in trace, it lowers the opacity of all the other layers except active layer. In the layer options if you disable this option, it will hide the layer from recording in the time lapse option. You can change color wheel type, just go to the settings, there are six different types here. Pick the one you like. Use the symmetry tool tab to draw multiple lines at the same time, you can draw interesting mandala art using this feature. As you can see, I'm just drawing lines here and there. Use the perspective tools to draw 2D or 3D art using these snapping lines as guide. I might make a tutorial video based on this tool, stay tuned. Clone anything using clone tool, just drag this to the image and start cloning. Using basic transformation, you can only move and resize the layer. From here you can switch between all the transformation tools. This is anchor tool, wherever you move this anchor, the image on that place won't move from its place while resizing it. Using distort tool, you can change the perspective of any image. Using warp, you can stretch any part of the selected layer. Extend the layer section, we can hide the background layer from here, and you can also change the color of the background, or add texture. You can modify it further also. While drawing line, hold your stroke to make it smooth, tap on the line again to adjust it further. Similarly, Infinite Painter also detects shapes you draw, if it doesn't work, go to settings, and scroll down to the brush settings, enable the shape detection option. Change brush tray look by dragging the brush tray to the corner using two fingers, the brush and eraser tool is located in the right side, in the left side, you'll find the smudge tool and the color wheel tab. Dock your color palette on your screen, just tap on three dots, and tap on this option. Now you can pick color directly from the screen, tap on the same option to remove it. Extend the layer panel and tap here to add filters and effect on multiple layers. You will only see its effect on every layer below it and won't affect the layers above. You can merge both these tool options from settings, just disable this option. Now both these tool menus are inside one. Create color palette from image. Tap on three dots, select options, tap on the plus icon and select the image, it will automatically create color palette for you. If you find this video helpful in any ways, like this video and share it with your friends and tell us any feature you think that I might don't know of.